Welcome to the first day of London Fashion Week. We're Female Fashion TV and we're going to be here every day bringing you the best bits from the catwalk, plus backstage chats with hairstylists, makeup artists and designers. So first let's go to today's highlights, which are Topshop, Aussie Clark and PPQ. I thought Topshop was really fun actually because New York last week was so beige and boring and Topshop was young, it had loads of energy. Um, my favourite pieces were all the boiler suits. Um, very difficult to wear, um, especially if you're in a hurry to uh, use the bathroom. Hearts, heart shapes or horseshoe patterns. Um, the coats were like um, mods and rockers. It was sort of very much London from the 60s. So it was a combination of 60s and 80s. But the snow wash denim. That was a little bit too far for me. It reminded me of Tiffany being at number one in the charts and the big frosty hair. The PPQ show was great. The, the, I don't know, the colours were great, the vibrant colours. Uh, the cuts and styles were really nice as well with the bows and the big collar lines. Yeah, no, there's some great, great kind of fun styling, some bright pink, bright yellow. It's really kind of a real a collection that's really kind of, I don't know, just something really, a really fun element to it and it just makes you smile. It's quite surprising. I was expecting not to like it, but I did, simply because what they've done this season is that they've taken the brand in a completely different direction. So before we were expecting a sort of huge palette of tiny floral prints, that's gone out the window and we had a lot of block coloured silks. It was a very fluid, flowing structure. It reminded me a little bit of a Missoni slash Calvin Klein. And then when they did do a print, it was quite an abstract floral print, which looked absolutely beautiful. Again, um, as with the Topshop show earlier today, jumpsuits seem to sort of brain the cap off, so you know that's where we're going this spring summer again. And we're in PPQ, um, Brian Antwood and Joseph. Shoes are from Terry de Havilland, my favourite shoe designer. The um, leggings are just from Topshop, borrowed from a friend, and this is vintage from Sony. How do you get through it? It depends if you go into all the parties. Drink lots of water. <laughs> um, keep on breathing, keep on eating as well, and mostly just have fun and enjoy. Probably a big bag, because you have to carry around so much stuff with a pair of flat shoes in. <laughs> The great thing about London Fashion Week is that there's always this little underlying current of will we have the next best thing there. And um, whilst you do have to trudge through a few shows which I find pretty mindless, there are those who I think, you know, in five to six years' time are going to be, you know, rocking the fashion airways. So what I'm looking forward to this week is the Christopher Kane show, that's always a hot ticket. Um, Julian MacDonald on a completely just sort of baba boom, let's be entertained and have some fun element. Um, it's great to have Vivian Westwood, it's great to have Tempoli and it's great to have Luella on the schedule again this season. I think, you know, it just gives it a bit of good fashion credibility. Mm -hmm. So that's it for today from London Fashion Week. Log on tomorrow at the same time for your next fashion fix.